Hey YouTube, it's Bird. Um, I haven't been logged on for a while on this specific channel mainly because uh, ever since the whole Google Plus uh, basically account update, there's been a lot of things going on. And I just wanted to apologize in advance for any misinformation that I gave in the past videos. Um, basically, I wasn't ever taking this channel seriously until now. I just started to be more into photography and video editing. So today, what my plan is to show you guys how to upgrade Alienware laptop. Now, I'm blessed and lucky to have one of these laptops in front of me right now. When I first bought one of these laptops, I was trying to figure find videos because I'm a visual learner and there weren't that many videos. There are videos on how to upgrade it, but I just wanted to add on to the list. Maybe this could help somebody one day. So without ado, let's get started. I hope you enjoy this. This is my first video as I'm trying to take this channel more seriously. So let's begin. First, let's hope that your laptop is turned off. Mine is, there's no light, so LED is buzzing. Let's turn it over. And if you bought your Mac, and if you bought yours brand new, or if yours just so happened to come with one, even when you bought it used, it should come with the cloth. I would re recommend using this mainly because you don't want to scratch up the top. Now the tools you'll need is basically self-explanatory. Screwdriver. Now this one is about a 1.5 millimeter head, I think, or if that's how it's pronounced. Now you don't have to use anything particular. The only reason I like this is it doesn't strip my screws. No matter how much tighter I need to put my screw in, it doesn't strip them because when I use this one, which is a lot pointier, as you guys can tell, what happens is it starts to strip, strip my screw. So first, you want to pull this lever. Make sure your hands on on top of this because the bend the battery pops out. There you go. So let's take a closer view of this. As you guys can see, let's just put make it closer. There are four screws located right here here and here oh, four screws so what you want to do then is take out all four of those screws let me just adjust the camera real quick zoom in there we go perfect so we're gonna take out this screw now the M So, see that it doesn't strip as much as the other screw because the side of the hard drives are based on the right or the left if you're facing it up. Therefore, when you put in more hard drives or the hard drive tray isn't inserted correctly, as I might, that just might be me. You don't want to lose any of these screws because these are really. go and what you want to do is push forward and just lift the case as you guys can see right here this is the hard drive cage usually since I've already installed my hard drives there's going to be liners here or not many liners they're kind of like fillers so what those fillers are going to come with are eight screws four on each hard drive so, how you guys take this hard drive out? It's simple. Again, four screws. So, take these four screws out. Now, they're not going to completely come out because they're retention to the to the bracket or the cage. And what's going to happen? You just got to pull up. And there's a little tab right here. So, then. What you want to do is you have your cage which is right here if you guys actually read the back of this it actually has SATA 2, SATA 3 and SATA 3 now what I chose to do is I put my hard drive like the actual hard drive on the top right here main reason you can adjust it up and down because I find the hard drive to be a lot thicker or I can't really say a lot thicker because they're the same form factor, but I would just, just in mine, or just in my perspective, you're able to adjust it up and down. Now the SSD I chose to do on the bottom. Don't put the SSD on the top, mainly because that's at a 2, which is a slower read and write speed. So let's get started. Now for this project, I decided to go with a Samsung 840 120GB SSD. 
And for my hard drive, I decided to go with a Western Digital Black 500 gigabyte hard drive. I have the links in the description for those for you guys. So mainly what you're going to want to do, here's my hard drive and here's my cage. Now as you guys can see, for people that might not know, these are SATA connectors. The big, the big SATA connector, the one here on the right, is for power and the one on the left is for data. So it's the same thing on here, it's these are the male. You guys can see they're pointing out. So when you guys slide this in, you want to make sure that it's in the right correction or orientation. So they just go on like that. I'm going to fast forward through this in a bit. Then, when you get your SSD, same thing. They're all SATA connectors. Make sure, just to double check, that you put yours in the right SATA cable. SATA 3, SATA 2, and SATA 3. I'm putting my SSD in the bottom one. Same orientation, try to line them up. And this should be the final product. You should have three total bays occupied. Now, these two are going to be put in RAID 0. RAID 0 is basically going to make your hard drives read as one. They're going to read out the speed of them should be a lot faster. Um, so these are two 500 gig hard drives, which would be turned into about one terabyte. That's, you know, um, maybe it's not going to be perfectly one terabyte, a little bit under that. And the bottom is an SSD. If you guys have a hard time with putting these in, you're capable of taking these out. Just make sure when you put them back in, the orientation is right. So this, this should be facing down. So this means that this should be like this. Because this clip needs to hook up to the motherboard. Now, for final installation, all you need to do is push this in here. As I said before, you're gonna need to hook up this tab into the motherboard. So this should be the final look. It should be installed into about right here. There's this little white slot in there. You guys will be able to find that. Then you just put it in its slot. Tighten them up in about an X pattern. Try not to over tighten them like I just did right now. go then get the cover to this and slide it about a little bit just a little bit over back and then what should happen is you can just slide it in. might be a tight fit but you can work it in Again, this is when this specific type of screwdriver comes in really handy. You might feel a lot of pressure right here on the right side, mainly because you just put a lot of new software, hardware in there. Sorry, not software, hardware. And they might just get a little bit thicker. But it's okay, as long as you use the typewriter, the right type of screwdriver, you should be fine. Now if it starts to strip, slow it down, and don't over tighten it, mainly because due to the fact that your screw will get stripped. Right. Last but not least, a huge battery, Next, you flip it over, and see what happens. Press that up. F2. Or if you're like mine, that actually does work. It has a BIOS. Up. BIOS. And as you guys can see, it's reading all of it. 
the Samsung is right here, 840 series, and my Western Digital Caviar Black is right here. Three hard drives, and that, folks, is how you upgrade your system. If you guys have any questions in the future, just let me know. Message, just leave a comment, comment box, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you.